How to make a Mega Neon in 4 seconds in Adopt Me. I'm going to make 10 neons and show you how YouTubers make the pets quickly. Let's start by making a Neon Puma. And we're going to end by making a Mega Neon Mecha Meow in 4 seconds. And I will explain to you exactly how I'm able to go and do that. And it might blow your mind away. Well, let's have a look at what a Neon Puma looks like. In case you've never seen one, there you go. So, how do players actually go and make Mega Neons instantly? Well, Adopt Me actually goes and helps people with it. That's right, if you're a YouTuber, you can actually go and make Mega Neons quicker. Which might sound a little bit unfair to most players, but the reason behind it is so that YouTubers can go and make content quicker, I guess. But let's say, for example, that you're not a YouTuber, well, you can simply go and use these items. I've been going and saving up a bunch of these Age Up potions. The way that I go and get these Age Up potions is basically from using the lures. That is the quickest way. But if we go and use one on, for example, a common pet, you can see how much it actually ages all at once. This means you only have to use a couple age up potions to fully grow a pet, meaning within 4 seconds of going and feeding your pet, you should be able to go and get it fully grown. So there is actually a chart made in case anyone is curious on how many potions you actually need and how many tasks that you need to go and fully age up a pet. So I'm going to go and put that on the screen right now for any of you guys who are completely curious on how many you actually need. So this should theoretically be the last one to fully age up a newborn into a friend level pudding cat. Now the reason that I just did that all on a pudding cat is because I kind of like pudding cats and I want to go and make a neon one and I really don't have time to go and age the pets so simply what I do is just get a bunch of these potions and feed it to all of my pets it's literally so quick and so simple and this is the the easiest way to go and make mega neons or neons yes going and getting these might not be easy but i did this video where i opened 100 lures in adopt me and you've got a pretty good chance of getting age up potions from lures meaning you could literally just be afk and start to go and earn age up potions simply go and leave a lure out then come back after four hours and hope that you've actually ended up with an age up potion this involves pretty much not that much time. And the thing is, you can do this on multiple accounts. Roblox recently introduced this switch account feature, which basically allows you to switch between the alt accounts practically instantly. Or say for example, you have another device. You could just simply use that and stay logged in at the exact same time. Such as on my phone, I actually have a second account, which I go and use to go and do this. This allows me to go and use tons of lures on a bunch of accounts at all of the exact same time. By going and doing this, it literally maximizes the amount of growth that you can get from all of your pets at once. So by doing this has allowed me to go and make Mega Neons very quickly. But there is a way that you can go and get them completely faster, which is how I'm going to be making the world's first Mecha Meow Mega Neon in a matter of literal seconds. That's right, the second the update comes out, which is probably when you're watching, is the second that I am going to be going and making a Mega Neon Mecha Meow by going and using this technique. So here we go, we have all of the pudding cats that I was after, which means I can now go and make a lovely little neon one, and all of this was done just by being AFK. That's right, all I did was stay AFK inside, let's go and find out what does a neon pudding cat look like? Honestly, I've got no idea. I've never seen one before. And oh my word, this this is kind of funny. There you go. That is a neon pudding cat inside of Adopt Me. A pretty funny pet. Definitely Christmassy. Very fun looking. And uh, it's cool. It's cool. So we've actually got a bunch of these pets uh, that I can just go and use to make neon instantly. Realistically, I probably should save these up for when I have the make a mega neon task, which I actually have. Can I reset this and hope that I get a make a neon? All right, so we've got make a mega neon, which we will go and do right now. I'm pretty sure we have enough to go and do that. Anyway, first, we're going to make a neon werewolf because we can in case anyone wants to see what a neon werewolf looks like, well, you're in for a treat because we are about to go and make 
the lovely Neon Werewolf inside of Adopt Me. Pretty cool looking pet. The only pet in Adopt Me that... The only pet in Adopt Me that actually transforms. That's right, this changes when it is night or daytime. Pretty cool looking pet. But we do want to go and make ourselves a Mega Neon. And I think... I think I might have one. I'm not sure what the name of it is. Okay, yeah, so I've got... I've got a... I've got so many undead elks that need to be transformed. Oh my word. I've, I've got enough to make a mega neon undead elk, but I think I need a few more age up potions. But that would be a cool pet, right? A mega neon um, undead elk. So in case you're wondering, how in the world do I have so many of these? Did I cheat? Did I trade for them? No, um, Adopt Me just kind of gave me them. That's right. Um, If you are becoming an official Adopt Me influencer, then you can get given pets, which is crazy. You just you just get them. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Every single time there is an update, the Adopt Me team would contact you. And if you're in the program, which anyone can apply for, as long as you create videos about Adopt Me, anyone can go and do this, okay? Um, as long as you do that and you apply and you get selected, every single time there is an update, you would get a bunch of the pets to go and showcase. The idea is so we can show them off in videos and try and get people excited about the update. Which is the exact same way that I can make a Mega Neon in four seconds. So Adopt Me gave me four fully grown luminous slimes. So let's see, can I go and complete this in four seconds long? My challenge is to actually go and do it in four seconds so what I need is like something that will make me faster. So do I need a speed? So I can use some hyper speed potions. And in case you don't know, um, they make you run faster. So we need to drink as many as these as possible. As these things actually stack and combine, it says drink more for a stronger effect, which we will be going and doing. As you can see, I am running quicker. We want to go as quick as possible. I wonder how many you can drink until you reach max speed. Honestly, not too sure. But we wanna be able to make this Mega Neon super quickly within four seconds. So we need to have the fastest speed possible to ultimately make the world's fastest Mega Neon pet. So this is literally gonna be done within four seconds because I didn't even have to age these pets. I didn't have to use potions for these pets. Adopt Me just gave them to me. So all I've gotta do is run around and press E on each one of these pets. So let's have slime. Typed at the ready. And uh, get ready so I gotta be like standing right here. And go, 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 go. Oh, okay, it doesn't like the fact that I'm that quick. No, I thought I'd be able to do it quickly. Okay, okay, how quick can I can I do it? And there we go. Was that four seconds? I don't know. I hope it was. I think I I think it was. This is a mega neon slime. And up next, we're gonna make the world's first mega neon mecha meow. One of the craziest pets, one of the most expensive pets to ever exist in Adopt Me, but I'm definitely excited for it. I'm sure you guys are as well. Oh, I completely forgot I've got the Make a Mega Neon task, so I now have three RGB boxes, which I'll probably open up in a future video. Maybe I should try and get 100 RGB boxes. That might be very difficult, but it would actually be really fun. So the Mega Meow has just released, and the second that I get to go and join the game, you will see a notification if you're an influencer. I got a Mega Meow times four, a Fly Potion times four, and a Ride Potion times four, so I'm actually gonna go and give those away because um, I don't really need fly or ride potions. But as you can see, I already have four neon mecha meows. Oh, wow. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. This is awesome. This is this is literally crazy. I wonder what people would offer for it. Um, this guy's trading two mecha meows. Neon mecha? <laughs> uh, so let's go and make a mega. This is going to be crazy. This is such a cool pet such an expensive pet because these are 7500 bucks each making this one of the like most expensive pets to exist but a mega neon mecha meow do i keep this no potion do i make this um ride or fly honestly that is a good question but this is such a cool pet i love cats 
we have to go and find out what does this look like. The final Mech Meow. Let's have a look. What is it going to look like? Oh, wow. Here it is. This is the world's first Mega Neon Mecha Meow inside of Adopt Me. One of the most expensive pets to ever exist. This is a really awesome pet. Let me know what you guys think of this pet. Do you like it? Do you think it's cool? Would you try and make one yourself? Um, so yeah, that's how YouTubers go and make these really quickly is because the kind team at Adopt Me um, just gives them to me and uh, I, I want to give back to the community So I, I like to give away the fly and ride potions and stuff So if you do want one then comment down below and I will legitimately pick some people to go and give these to for free You need to watch this video next where I show the best adopt me house tours click here right now to go and watch it I dare you to